Also, an update on the story that we did on the Bangladesh, the Bangladeshi uh, factory that collapsed. 5,000 workers were working there. The number of, of, of dead has risen above 1,100 people. It's one story the other day of a woman who I guess had been buried for almost, uh, almost three weeks. They found her alive. Um, horrible, horrible situation in Bangladesh to the extent that there is any upshot to this. Bangladesh's government agreed on Monday to allow the country's garment workers, according to the AP, to form trade unions without prior permission from factory owners. Ugh, Bangladeshi freedom just withering away right there. Indeed. The cabinet decision came the day after the government announced a plan to raise the minimum wage for garment workers, who are some of the lowest paid in the entire world. The old law required workers to get permission from their bosses to form a union. I can't imagine that uh, provides for many opportunities to unionize. Um, the 2006 law that previously existed allowed trade unions to exist, uh, but none of the garment factories ever allowed them uh, because it would have inhibited the um, or interfered with the discipline of their workers. So in many respects, what happened in Bangladesh has become their... Um, their Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire, an incident that has now uh, provided for enough outrage, it must be, in Bangladesh to, to force the allowance of unions. And it's another example of the dynamic of unions relative to a government. Just like corporations cannot exist and receive benefits that help maintain them and grow them, and allow them to function, nor can unions exist without that same help from government. And in this country, we give far more support for the corporation than we do for unions, which is why you have been seeing the decline of unionization in this country, <clears throat> very much so in the private sector. 